Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of x cubed, given that log to base 4x of 40 root 3 is equal to log to base 3x of 45. To solve this problem, let log to base 4x of 40 root 3 be equal to log to base 3x of 45 be equal to a constant, a number, d. And of course, from this long equation, we have that log to base 4x of 40 root 3 is equal to d. Now, remember that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 4x raised to power d is equal to 40 root 3. That is, we have that 40 root 3 is equal to 4x raised to the power d. And also from this long equation, we have that log to base 3x of 45 is also equal to d. And once more from here, we have that 45 is equal to 3x raised to power d. Now you can see that we have two equations in two unknowns, x and d. To solve these two equations, we are going to divide one equation by the other. So let us divide this first equation by the second equation. When we do that, we have that 40 root 3 divided by 45 is equal to 4x to the power d divided by 3x to the power d. But of course, since these two quantities, that is 4x and 3x, have the same exponent d, we can combine them like so. This is 4x divided by 3x, both to the power d. And of course, you can see that when combined like this, we can very easily cancel x. And from here, we have that 40 root 3 over 45 is equal to 4 over 3 to the power d. Now, you can see that we have one equation in one unknown, and we can very easily find the value of d. For convenience sake, let me rearrange this equation. We have 4 over 3 to the power d is equal to 40 root 3 divided by 45. Now we can reduce this fraction. We can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. When we do that, 40 root 3 divided by 5 is 8 root 3. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. But then let us remember that 8 is 2 cubed. So this is 2 to the power 3 multiplied by root 3. Or instead of root 3, let us write this as 3 to the power half. And we know that 9 is 3 squared. Now we can cancel this 3 to the power half and then subtract half, that is the exponent of 3 in the numerator, from the exponent of, two, uh, of 3 in the denominator, which is 2. So we have 2 minus half. And of course, this is 1 and half. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. This is 3 over 2. So this equation becomes 4 over 3 to the power d is equal to 2 to the power 3 divided by 3 to the power 3 over 2. Now, since we have 4 in this numerator, let us see if we can express this numerator, that is 2 to the power 3, in terms of 4. Of course, we know that 2 is equal to 4 to the power half. That is the square root of 4. So this is 4 to the power half to the power 3, divided by 3 to the power 3 over 2. And of course, you know that when we have two exponents like this, all we have to do is to multiply. So this is equal to 4 to the power 3 over 2, 
divided by 3 to the power 3 over 2. And once more, you can see that both the numerator and the denominator have the same exponent. So we can combine them like so, 4 over 3 to the power 3 over 2. And of course, this is still equal to 4 over 3 to the power d. Now, when you compare both sides of this equation, you will easily see that d is equal to 3 over 2. And now that we have found d, we can go back to any of those initial equations to find the value of x. Now, let us take the equation where we have that log to base 3x of 45 is equal to d. From this equation, we have that 3x to the power d, that is to the power 3 over 2, is equal to 45. And of course, when we open this bracket, we have that 3 to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 45. Five. Now let us look at this. Of course, you know that this is the square root of 3 to the power 3. That is the square root of 3 raised to power 3 multiplied by x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 45. Of course, we know that 3 raised to the power 3 is 27. So this is the square root of 27 multiplied by x raised to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 45. Now we divide both sides of this equation by the square root of 27. So we have x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 45 over the square root of 27. Now, remember that what we are looking for is x cubed. So, what we have to do is to square both sides of this equation. Because, of course, when we square both sides of this equation, remember that when we have two exponents like this, to open this bracket, they simply have to multiply themselves. And when you multiply 3 over 2 by 2, we have 3. So, from here, we have that x cubed. This is going to cancel that is equal to 45 times 45 divided by 27 because the square root of 27 squared is equal to 27. And of course, 9 can divide this to give us 5, and 9 can divide this. To give us 3. 3 can divide this to give us 1 and 3 can divide 45 to give us 15. And 15 times 5 is equal to 75. So we have that the value of x cubed when log to base 4x of 40 root 3 is equal to log to base 3x of 45 is 75 and with that we come to the end of today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video